Hey guys, so it's Charlie again. I'm here with the Nikola Tesla Dynamo Electric Machine, patent number 406968. And I'm gonna I go ahead and give you guys a nice good quick look at this. I'm One of my pet peeves is when people have a thumbnail that's not actually in their video and you never end up seeing it, and it's a good thumbnail. So when you get, get a good look at that, you can just pause it if you wanna take a longer look. But, all right, so I've got this built-in CAD. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. It's a pretty, really, really simple build. There's a conductive band. I'll go in reverse real fast and disassemble and then go through it again. So this is the base. It's, Tesla says it's a unipolar motor or generator, however you want to do it. You can either spin the rotors or you can pump electricity into it and DC current into it and it'll return. <clears throat> so essentially he came up with the idea to <clears throat> use two unipolar magnets. One's pointing one way, the other one's pointing the opposite way. And he says it's his preference to do it that way. He further says you can put winding coils in there and power them and make it a much stronger electromagnet. And from there, you put two copper rotors in there. And we'll take this one away so we can take a look at the side here. If I can get it to turn one-handed. So they're indented, so it gets really close in there. So the two magnets going one way through the rotor. As the rotor spins, you get this basic Faraday disc. Electricity, when going, when the uh, field is pointed one way, the electricity goes from the center of one shaft out to the periphery, then goes around the conducting band, and then the magnet is faced the other way on the other rotor, <coughs> and so the electricity, the voltage potential builds up from the periphery to the center, and you can then, when the whole thing is assembled, you can actually make your electrical connections right here on these things and they're touching the drive shaft. So the current will go through the drive shaft out to the periphery, down from the periphery to the drive shaft and out from your connection. And you can put two wires right off of this. You get a pretty strong DC current. I haven't made one yet. I'm going to be making one, but it should be pretty simple. I'm not sure how soon I can get magnets that are about this size. My CAD drawing has it for seven inch rotors. Um, it's a really, really simple build. One thing that's bothering me is I cannot figure out, even if you go to the original, he doesn't he doesn't say anywhere where you hook up the coils. And I know they're coils. He says it's in there. And you can actually see that the coils are... He's got, he always lo labels his coils like this when he draws them. So this is one solid iron case, and then he wounds, winds these coils around the center. And as such, that's why I have it. Try to take this off so you can see. Got coils all around in the center, around each thing. And I might have actually done it a little different than him. It looks like he's got a straight flat bar that comes off of here. And I made it um, a little bit so it just fits it totally. I don't know if it's important to have it one way or another. If you know, let me know. I'd be glad to hear it. <clears throat> he also says that it, if you... You can make the case magnetized or actually use magnets in there, but you can also run the current that it gets from the drive shafts into the coils and amplify the magnetic field. I'm not sure how effective that would be, but he says it can be done. I usually take his word for it. I have yet to find something I really can't get my mind around from him, but you get the pulleys on the back. Just bolted both cases bolted to the centerpiece it's always such a pain to move this around one-handed if one of you guys out there knows how to render this stuff really well let me know i could use a hand oh my god but okay yeah that's about it i'm gonna end it here it's a really simple machine just do a quick rotate Oh, pretty sweet machine. It should make a bunch of power. I'd love to find out. I will find out.
I'm not sure how soon I'll get one of these built though, but hope you guys like it. I'm trying to get my video quality up a little better soon here. Probably trying to get a stand so I'm not jiggling the phone around. I've heard you guys comment. <laughs> I'm still just working on it. I'm not really inclined in that direction of thought. I'm not a graphic designer or communications major or anything like that. My background's in physics. But I'm willing to learn. So hopefully when the funds come in a little later, once I start making some more generators, we can get this going a little better. But enjoy, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.